So when we're thinking about building a culture when we're not physically present in the office, as we are now and have been for a lot of people for quite some time, how do we do that? Okay, so it's very similar to building a culture in person, but I would say the main thing that we need to keep in mind is the fact that, as we mentioned earlier, people are incredibly physically separate at the moment. And the great thing about 2020 is there are so much technology that means that we're constantly talking to each other. But I suppose it's thinking about how meaningful those conversations are. So the first part is to foster a strong two-way dialogue. And when I say strong, I'm talking about a meaningful conversation. That means we're kind of bottling some of the conversations that perhaps happened in the break room or when we were making a cup of tea and taking that and bringing it virtually. So the first thing is to over-communicate what's going on in the business to keep your employees in the loop. And I know a lot of leaders will think, well, I'm, I am talking to them. I'm sending emails or I'm having one-to-one -one conversations with a few people in the organization. That's probably not enough. And I would say, I'm sure that you can vouch for this. When employees don't know what's going on or they're not being talked to, they make assumptions and assumptions lead to fear. Mm -hmm. And fear is yeah. the worst possible thing. It's the most destructive thing in an organization. So even if you feel like you are way over communicating what's getting across, it's probably very beneficial for your team to know this is what's happening in the business today, guys. This is to keep you in the loop. And so everybody's on the same page. And that's kind of looking back to in an organization organization when you're meeting in person in the office you can do the hey quick can I just grab everybody's attention really mm -hmm. quickly it's the equivalent of that online and there's lots of ways that you can do that via email or video or however it works whatever kind of communication platforms you guys are using in your business we're definitely hearing so much of that I think from a from a candidate perspective particularly with with the, the furlough time and um some people working some people not people being kind of slowly phased back in I guess if I could say the main frustration, concern, worry for candidates it is that they don't know what's going on or they feel like they don't know what's going on. Um, and it, it seems so easy to rectify that, doesn't it? Absolutely. I think the the reason why this is probably such an important part, even though it feels like a pretty obvious recommendation, is let's put ourselves into the shoes of, of the leaders that are watching this video. Um, you guys have been fighting fires since the beginning of this year, and there has been no time to breathe. And so you are putting all of your effort just to keep this business afloat. And so unfortunately, as a result of that, you're not stepping out from an umbrella perspective to go, does everybody know what's in my head? And it's like, when we're so busy, we're not putting our effort into thinking about that. And so definitely when we look at these furloughed people entering the business again, or perhaps even just people that have been there for the entire journey, your candidates, whoever it might be, they don't know what's happening and they're making assumptions and they're listening to what's happening around the world and in the news which is unfortunately very negative. And so it's important that every once in a while you pull your head out from under the water and you go, okay, let's take a breather. Let's look, let's reflect. Let me make sure that I'm telling you everything that I'm seeing. And, and I will say, you don't have to be completely honest. There's probably some things going on in the business that you can't talk about with everybody, but making sure that you're giving enough information to where people aren't spreading gossip or asking too many mm -hmm. questions. Um, Cause I understand why you might not be communicating, but I'm telling you the negative effects of not doing that are far outweighing the amount of time it would take you just to give people a little bit of an update.